and Premiere Pro's new December 2022 release, they made it so that you can take the automatically generated caption and turn it into the text that you would type at the text tool. This is huge because this is the main reason why I was not using the auto transcribe feature. I couldn't add that transform effect so it could pop out and make my captions look good. But now that's changed. I'm gonna create a transcription with this brand new sequence and then I'm gonna fix the typos. All right, I just fixed it. And right now I'm gonna go over here, click these three dots and click create captions. And now I'm gonna set it so that my subtitles are really fast. I'm gonna set all these values to low, maximum length, minimum duration. And then I'm gonna set the lines to single. And then this is what you would usually get. You get this block of text. And as you can see, you can't really add any effects to these. If I wanted to add the transform tool or like a glow effect, I just couldn't. That has changed. You can select all these subtitles and you can go over here and click upgrade caption to graphic, which makes it so all those captions are now text boxes. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a style. I'm basically going to make a template for how I want my subtitles to appear. So I'm going to set, I'm going to set that up real fast. I want it to be big. I want it to be product sans. Make sure your paragraph is set to center. This will not work otherwise. So now I'm going to go over to the essential graphics panel. I'm going to click my text and then I'm going to go over to styles and click create style. I'm going to call this subtitle one. And then I'm going to select all these clips and add my style from the project panel onto it. Perfect. Now, the main thing you have to worry about is that you cannot change the text position property. As you can see, when I right click the position, copy is grayed out. You can't do it. So I'm going to add my transform effect onto my clip. I'm going to use the transform anchor point to kind of set it to the center at a transition. And then I'm going to use the position properties and put it to the bottom of the screen. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, I'm done with my transform animation. I think it looks pretty nice. It's bouncy. I'm going to go down here and now I'm going to put my motion position all the way down to the bottom of the screen. So now I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to select transform and I'm going to select motion as well. Both of these are selected. I'm going to right click and press copy. And now I'm going to apply these effects to the rest of the graphics. And we're done. If you did this correctly, you just do a small change in your rotoscope that decides to just keep refreshing or keep propagating. Your whole sequence could be subtitled in now two or three minutes. This is a game changer and I hope this helped.